Hey guys, Tyler from Royal Star Soft bringing you a video on how to install an HBA tap into a Dreamcast magazine. The tools you're going to need for this video is a HBA tap, a Dreamcast magazine, a flathead screwdriver, and Teflon tape just in case. So if you aren't sure what an HBA tap is, it is a piece of aluminum that screws directly into where your Dreamcast magazine valve used to go and replaces it with this HBA tap which if you don't know already is for HBA or high pressure air systems so if you have the tank, the line, and the regulator you can run your pistol with this HBA tap. So the first step before you do anything with your mag is make sure that you got the right valve. So this is a KWA Green Gas Magazine and you want to make sure you pick up the KWA HBA tap valve. If you do not get the right valve for the right mag it's not going to work, it's not going to fit and you have to do a lot of modification in order for it to work right. After you have made sure that your HBA mag matches up with your HBA valve, the first thing you want to do is take the base plate off of your Dream Gas magazine. After you have done this, next remove the Dream Gas valve from your existing magazine. All you need to do in order to remove this is to take a flathead screwdriver, as I said before, and unscrew lefty loosey righty tidy this Dream Gas valve. As you can see here, my Dream Gas valve is out, and now I am ready to go ahead and put the HBA tap in. Alright, so the next step is not entirely necessary for all guns, but what you're going to do is install some Teflon tape onto your valve. Now, this Teflon tape can be found in any Walmart, hardware store, anything like that. It's relatively cheap for what it is, and it's just a good step to take, just in case. So what you're going to do is take about an inch of Teflon tape, sometimes not even that. Um, it really doesn't take very much at all, and just put a single layer around the threads on your valve. Now, what this is going to do is just make sure that you're not leaking any air, and just provide a better seal for the valve inside of the magazine. Now, in the long run, this is going to save you a lot of air potentially if your valve is leaking. Even the smallest amount of air is a big waste and you really don't need to lose any air for no reason. So, just in case, I would go ahead and put on some Teflon tape. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. And now you can go ahead and install the tap into your mag. So to install the tap onto your mag, all you're going to do is take your mag without the Dreamgas valve and put the tap in and go ahead and start screwing it in. Now, it's not anything different than the drain gas valve. You're not going to need your flathead anymore. And just make sure you get it about finger tight and then take some pliers and tighten it just a little bit. Don't over tighten it. That way you will ruin your threads. But all in all, your tap is in and should be ready to go once you're taking some pliers and just tighten it up a little bit more and snug it in. Um, whenever you're doing this, just turn it about a half turn to a full turn and that just makes sure that the valve is all the way in. It's not going anywhere. Won't come out on the field, anything like that. Um, it really doesn't take anything more than that and you should be good. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and drill a hole inside of your base plate just so that you can put your base plate back on with the HBA tap. As you can see it is not going to go back on now. But if you really wanted to, you can take a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver and just kind of make this hole a little bit wider so that your HBA tap will go on with the base plate. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this video on how to install a HBA tap into a green gas magazine. Um, a lot of people are starting to do this nowadays since HVA has become a big thing. Um, really, it's not necessary. I've tried to do, use it before and I really didn't like it too much. Just because it had, you know, the problem of carrying around your tank and line with a pistol, which really isn't necessary to me at all. Um, just go ahead and make the investment by a can of green gas. It's not very expensive at all. And you're good. So really, it's up to you guys if you want to do this to your pistol or not. Um, it does have benefits that I will go ahead and explain in another video sometime soon. But for now, you guys know how to install it and you should be good. So if you guys have any questions about this HPA tap, this mag, anything, let me know down in the comment section below. And tell me if you guys use an HPA tap or not. Do you think it's worth it? What do you not like about it? What do you like about it? Things like that. So hope you guys have a great day. This is Tyler from All Aerosol, signing out.